Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, and this is a recipe demo of tomatoes and greens with toasted almonds from Simple by Yodam Adelenghi. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. In the video, I demo half a recipe, but I'll narrate a full recipe. Let's prep our Swiss chard. We need 500 grams or one pound-ish, which is about two bunches. We'll remove the leaves and roughly chop them. Then thinly slice the stalks. We also need four and a half ounces or 130 grams of spinach, roughly shredded. I just weighed out frozen spinach, which is thawing in the upper left corner. And thinly slice two garlic cloves. In a large saute pan with a lid, heat two tablespoons of olive oil over medium heat and fry the almonds. Half a cup or 50 grams of them along with half a teaspoon of paprika. I have accidentally poured in the garlic here, which was preemptive of me. They should not be cooked at this stage. The almonds will fry for two to three minutes until they start to turn golden brown. Then transfer them to a bowl, drained through a sieve to separate the oil. Return the pan to medium high heat with two more tablespoons of olive oil and add the garlic and one and a half teaspoons of caraway seeds to fry for one minute. If the garlic were here, it would be sizzling and browning. Carefully add two cans of plum tomatoes or 400 grams each with their juices. If the pan is super hot, the liquid will hiss and it'll pop, so be careful of that. And add all the chopped chard and the stalks and season with three fourths of a teaspoon of salt stirring it all up and crushing the tomatoes as you go. Cover the pan and continue to cook for 20 minutes, stirring occasionally until the chard wilts and the tomatoes break down. In the meantime, we'll prep all the herbs. Chop 35 grams of mint or one and three quarters of a cup. I love the flavor but I do not like the texture of mint, so I chop it up real, 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 real good. And then the same amount of dill, 35 grams or one and three quarters of a cup. Then chop eight green onions into half inch pieces. And I know all of this sounds like it will taste like a gigantic mess. And I am definitely thinking this as I'm cooking it, like caraway seeds and mint. Are you kidding me? And stir your greens to make sure they aren't sticking. Also, this is pretty thick. I have cooked off a lot of liquid, but you can use less heat to keep it saucier and thinner and then serve it with rice. And now we zest a lime or two, enough for one teaspoon. And then we need two tablespoons of lime juice. Yes, seriously, lime juice. I'd measure out the lime juice separately so you can add it to taste. I don't feel like I used the full measurement, but it was definitely a sharp flavor to the dish and, and I wish I had used a tad less lime juice. Remove the pan from the heat and stir in the spinach and all the herbs and the lime zest and then stir in the lime juice to taste separately. And when you serve, sprinkle the almonds on top Adolenghi recommends serving this warm or at room temperature with rice or even sprinkled with feta, which would be fantastic. It's a wonderful side dish to chicken or fish. I just left the plate out all day and I would take a few bites throughout the day and it was hugely satisfying. It is the most random combination of ingredients I think I've ever seen, but I get it. I would definitely serve this again because it's a giant mess of greens and that is one of my favorite things to eat. I look forward to hearing <laughs> how much it also surprises you. So get the ingredient list below or at cookingcompaniontv.com slash greens. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to this channel for more demos just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.